You're listening to eLearn Chat, where talk is knowledge. Hello and welcome to eLearn Chat, our new podcast featuring prominent leaders, shakers, and movers in the e-learning and training industry. My name is Rick Zanotti, and I'll be your host for these chats. Our interview today is with Janavi Pachare, Director of Knowledge Products and Strategy for Harbinger Group and Raptivity. This is part one of our three-part series with Janavi. Hi, Janavi. How are you today? I'm doing very good, Rick. How about you? I'm doing great, and I'm so glad you could join us. Well, tell us a little bit about what you do with Raptivity, and I notice you also work with Harbinger Group. I'm basically the Director of Research and Strategy at Harbinger Knowledge Products, and what that basically means is I'm the eyes and the ears for the products division. I watch what's going on in the industry with new trends and technologies. But an equally important part of, or I should say often more important part of my role is to listen to our customer inputs uh, to better, basically better understand their needs. And then I assimilate all this information and my feedback becomes an important factor influencing some of the product decisions and product strategy. And uh, so that's for Harbinger Knowledge Products. And just to tell you in short what the what the company does, uh, it's Harbinger Knowledge Products is part of Harbinger Group, which is a global IT products and services company, and it's been around for almost 20 years now. Uh, and within under Harbinger Group, we have obviously Harbinger Knowledge Products, which is the products division of the business, and then we have Harbinger Systems which is the services arm of the company. And what they do is they provide technology expertise to customers worldwide. And this can include anything from solution consulting, uh, software design and development, all the way to QA. You know, our company has won several awards for its products and services. Uh, in fact, uh, the latest excitement is about the latest feather in the cap, as I like to call it. Uh, it's the Red Herring Top 100 Award that we won just last month among the top 100 innovative technology companies around the world. That's great. And I didn't realize you also do IT work. So it's a combination of IT, learning. So you leverage the IT and the learning as, as really kind of a unit. Absolutely. In fact, the, the learning is only one of the verticals we cater to on the product side. Um, so the Harbinger Knowledge Products basically has interactivity solutions, not just for learning, but also for presentation and web development. That's actually, uh, we made a foray into that space uh, recently. But yeah, so it caters to different markets and different technologies. Now, one of the products that uh, obviously people are very interested in in the e-learning side is Raptivity. Tell us a little bit about Raptivity, how it started, and and kind of where where you're going with that product. Let me start with Raptivity. Raptivity is what we like to call an interactivity builder. It is a rapid development tool. So content developers, you know, who are looking for ways to maybe make their content more creative or interactive, uh, could use Raptivity to develop interactivities fairly easily and quickly. Um, and these interactions can pretty much range from something as simple as a flip book, interactive diagrams, drag and drop exercises, all the way up to high-end games, scenario-based simulations, and even 3D, actually. What the tool provides is a pre-built library of over 225 interaction templates, uh, what we like to call interaction models. and what users do is simply customize these interaction models uh, by plugging in their own content and media assets. So you would bring that into your into these templates. So they don't need to worry about any programming because you know Raptivity takes care of all that for them, which means the, it's a good thing because the users now have more time to focus on the content itself, and so it also makes it a great tool for the non-programmers or the people who don't have the time maybe to program. Um, the output of Raptivity interactions is Flash, and you know all these uh, all these interactions are SCORM and AICC compliant. Uh, therefore, the interaction data is can also be tracked. So while the learner is being engaged and you know having probably having some fun, the course developer, the course creator, actually can tra track some meaningful user data in the back end on the LMS or in your authoring systems. Now, is Raptivity also an authoring tool? You know, that is, that's a great question, Rick. Uh, in a broader terms, yes, you could say it's an authoring tool because, you know, it's, uh, you're using it to author content after all. But 
I'd say it's a specialized one at best. Um, in fact, if anything, in my opinion, it should fall under a subcategory called interactivity tools. Um, in fact, since Raptivity does, it does get classified today under authoring tools for a lack of better category, I should say. Uh, sometimes course developers get confused and they think that they have to choose between uh, either Raptivity or one of your classic authoring tools that are available, when in fact Raptivity is not your typical authoring tool that you would use to build entire courses, courses with. Um, it, Raptivity allows you to build these self-contained modular units or interactivities that you can then plug into your courses. So you would, so it's like, you know, you would you basically you would use Raptivity in addition to the other authoring tools and not in place of. So you know, that's that's where the, there's a subtle difference. But now, an average instructional designer who's not very technical, maybe knows PowerPoint well, but doesn't really know how to create, let's say, a multimedia application. How easy is it for them to use Raptivity to create a more engaging content? You know, Rick, very very easy. All you do is select a template uh, and then bring in your content and media assets into that template. Customize the look and feel of the interaction. So say I'm developing a game, uh, which is a TV show type of a game. Basically bring in my questions and customize the look and feel to make it more corporate-like if I like it. Simply tweak the behavior of that interaction and publish the interactivity. It is, it is a single click publish. And the output is a single flash file, as I mentioned. So after that, you simply include the flash.swf output into your courses. I mean, there's little work that needs to be done where you have to collect your thoughts and gather all the media assets that you would need. But that's that's true for any development. So you have to be ready with that. But once it's ready, creating it is just a matter of minutes. So you could be building a learning game in literally minutes rather than days. And I think that's the beauty of rapid interactivity and the rapid interactivity paradigm that uh, Raptivity first introduced. Need help with your e-learning development? Visit www.relate.com.